For now, Agent One, turn to your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka. I've been getting text messages from friends, Tony, saying what's going on with the rain, but it's already moving through. It is, although in some areas, Brian, it stalled a little bit. And bottom line, these storms are now confined to the southern half of the state, Washington County, southern Rhode Island. Now, we're looking at uh, Providence now. That's the Providence River, so we're looking south. So that's why the sky is dark to the south. And here's the reason why. You've got the line of storms in the southern part of the state. So let's take this and put it on your TV set at home. And you can clearly see this, this ribbon of red. That is the squall line. We talked about this yesterday. And what we're noticing is that the line is what we call training. In other words, it's just moving over the same area. It's not really clearing the coast yet. And the net result is more than likely some street flooding. We have our lightning tracker turned on. So this is Washington County, Southern Rhode Island. It's impacting the lower part of the bay. Newport, New Bedford, you're in a little bit of a lull, but you got another downpour and some thunder headed your way to the north in Providence. The sun is actually shining, so here's a close-up look. And I know this doesn't look like much, but you see this little light, this is Hopkinton, this little light turquoise blip right there. Uh, when we see that on the Doppler radar, that's an indication that there may be some small pea-sized hail. So this is on top of uh, the, the southern part of Route 95 in Washington County. I'm sure traffic is being slowed. You see our lightning icons, these little white icons indicating cloud-to-ground lightning strikes, South Kingstown. Newport, just south of Portsmouth. Let me slide you over to um, well, Portsmouth. Now, New Bedford just getting some light rain right now, but this second area of downpours and thunder uh, headed your way, and then eventually all of this will be clearing the coastline uh, very shortly. Here's our lightning tracker. It's turned on with numerous lightning strikes south and east of Warwick, and especially the southern part of the, uh, the state, and especially the lower part of Narragansett Bay. So when we look at Newport, and you can see still, uh, things are still stormy, a little lull in the rain right now, but there's more headed your way. Uh, Easton's Beach in Newport, you can see that second round of some thunder, which is off to your west. We're looking west. Uh, that is on the approach. So you've got another downpour on the way. Same deal in New Bedford. You're in a, a little bit of a lull right now, but when we look off to the west, there's another area of dark clouds on the horizon. That's another downpour headed your way. Meanwhile, in Providence, you know, the sun is shining, but this is the Providence River. So when we pan the camera to the south, look at the change in the sky. So these are the storms that we're seeing uh, looking south towards the southern part of the state. What a difference between north and south. So these downpours continue. Now, if you have plans to be out this evening, I would still go ahead. This line that's in the southern part of the state right now will be ending shortly and other locations the sun has come out. Temperatures are all over the place. Uh, 73 Smithfield, 67 Newport, 68 uh, New Bedford. And the reason why those locations that had thunderstorms, the temperature actually cooled down in some of those downpours. So the threat tracker will keep things actually low level green tonight, Saturday and Sunday. We're still in a pinpoint weather alert, pretty much confined to the southern part of the state, but things will be on the improve. We're just waiting for this cold front to sweep through and it does. It'll clean everything out much lower Lower humidity to our west will be working in and actually sets up for a dry and, uh, and comfortable night. So when we take a look at the forecast this evening, you can see the storms pulling offshore, uh, clearing skies for the remainder of Friday evening and Friday night. This is 11 o'clock tonight. We're doing fine. And then tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, it's okay. It's a, it's a mix of both clouds and sunshine. The humidity is lower. It is cooler. I mean, we were in the 80s today, 70 on Saturday. The good news with Father's Day Sunday, it's dry, but it's very cool for mid-June. We're looking at a high temperature, only mid to upper 60s. Brian and Mike.